In this video, you will learn how to develop a good research topic. To start out, let's first answer the question why it's important to know how to develop a good research topic. Think of it this way. During your time as a student, and perhaps even later, you will probably write a good number of research papers. While some instructors might provide you with a list of research topics to choose from, others might not. You will have to choose your own topic. So, what can you write about? Well, let's first answer the question, what makes a topic really good? Three things worth to mention here. First, it's a topic that strongly interests you. This is very important. Make sure that the topic you pick, the topic you will write about, is a topic that interests you, fascinates you, that you want to talk about. Really, there is nothing worse than spending a lot of time writing about a topic that bores you. Second, make sure your topic is creative. What do we mean by that? Well, there are some topics that have just been written about over and over and over again. Can you come up with a topic that perhaps hasn't been covered that much? Try to pick something that is creative and exciting to you and your peers. Writing about Shakespeare's dramas is great, but that topic in itself has been covered extensively. So try to find something that might be a little more creative than that. And third, speaking of Shakespeare's dramas, make sure you pick something that is not too broad. Look at your assignment prompt. How many pages are you supposed to write? If you get a five-page paper as an assignment, well, Shakespeare's dramas is just going to be a little bit too broad. So make sure that the topic you choose fits the scope of your paper. Sometimes it can be really difficult to find a topic that is not too broad. Here are a couple of words of advice on what to do when your topic seems too broad. Let's say you are in an environmental science class. Your teacher gives you this assignment prompt. Write a research paper on a topic dealing with a current environmental issue. Your paper should not exceed five pages and should be based on a topic that strongly interests you. Well, you say, that's no problem. I know exactly what to write about. I saw the show the other day on TV and it talked about the effects of deforestation on gorillas in Africa. I think that's a great topic. I know it interests me, and it's creative. So, let's write about it. Well, not so fast. Remember, your paper is only supposed to be five pages. How are you going to fit that topic into a five-page paper? That's going to be difficult. So what could you do instead? The key is to add more context. For example, you could add some geographical context to your paper. Is there a geographic region or country in which gorillas are specifically affected by deforestation? Perhaps you want to focus more on a historical context. Is there a certain time aspect you want to write about? Perhaps the time when deforestation really started to affect gorillas. And third, with this topic, you could also add biological context. Perhaps there is a specific subspecies of the gorilla that you're interested to write about. So when we combine all three contexts and incorporate them into the original topic, this is what we get. Something like current effects of deforestation on the mountain gorilla in southwest Uganda. We thereby incorporate the historical context the biological context, and the geographical context. Adding context truly is a great way of narrowing your topic. TOTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. CLT, that's in work. And the beanie cap retraction now in work. Cash 
I want to know we're clear, no unexpected errors. Okay, OTC copy. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visor, initiate O2 flow, and uh, Frank, have a great mission. Okay, let's go for ET, LHC. Roger, that's American, thank you very much. Now terminating the Cessna Flight Path replenish of the liquid hydrogen and pressurizing the uh, liquid hydrogen portion of the external tank, the lower part of the tank. T-minus one minute, 30 seconds. One minute. Standing by now for the handoff to Discovery's onboard computers. At T minus 31, Discovery will be controlling. T minus 40. Booster heaters are off. T minus 30 seconds. Good start. 25. Standing by to activate the sound suppression water system in five seconds. 15. T minus 10. 9. 8. 7. Go for main engine start. Three main engines up and burning. Three. We have a cutoff. Pass the BFS for 101, LDB shows 1. ETU is SDE, perform all service aboard. CLA station is in progress. I copy CDR entity panel 06. And the main engine cut off. CDR entity panel 06, ETC mode 5. Safing in work. Touch the phone, tell it in work. And ETC GLS, if it's set to safe, all three engines are showing post shutdown standby, or go for orbiter HP shutdown with no MPS fire detectors trip. Orbiter access arm now back in position. Copy CDR PLP entity perform APU shutdown. APU shutdown to work. CMPL fuel lock verified lock fleet path. CMPL verified fleet path established and heat shield water is on. To lock verified. Discovery is now in the uh, safe configuration. Crew is in no danger. MPS copies in work. CMPL, fire detector status. Uh, CMPL, no fire detector trip. CGLF, still no fire detectors on your screen. That's correct, and our primary safety is complete. We're go for transition to G9. I copy. MPL, water daily is still on. The water is on. CLXY, leak detector status. Okay, Bill, uh, this is uh, fire room one. Will you get us uh, the TSM ratings as soon as you can? CLXY, leak detector status. NTD, keep off. No fires. Copy. CGSS, verify OA, extended and lock. Verif and report staff at emergency egress, temp and flame detectors. Verify OA, extended and lock. And no indications of fire on egress route. Copy. All personnel of the NTD and RSL support has occurred. Preliminary safety is complete. All systems stand by for post support safety check on page 944. Performing post abort safety checks, all systems verified by sub-step number, CISL. ISL verify 1. DPS. DPS verify 2. CCME. CCME verify 3. CSME. CSME verify 4 and 5. MPL. CMPL verified 6 and 7. CLHY. LHY verifies 8, 9, and 10. CLOX. CLOX verifies 11, 12. CHD. HD verifies 13 and 14. CGSF. CGSF verifies 15. APU. APU verifies 16. CBHY. CBHY verifies 17. EPD. Uh, EPD verifies 18 and 19. Double OS. Double OS verifies 20. CBRS. CBRS verifies 21. All personnel post the board safety checks are complete. Proceed to recycle control sequence, sequence 18 on page 1045. Verification that the space shuttle is safe. We have no... Uh, Indication of any fires in the uh, aft area. Performing recycle. 